Kavir, a land blessed by the goddess, fortified with an impenetrable barrier to keep the monstrosities at bay, the ivory jewel of the human continent. Kavir used to be the most brilliant gem amongst all nations of humanity. However, a sacrificial rite finally fulfilled. The Doom's Dragon descends upon mankind. Conquest, consumption, carnage. Its existence is a ruination. In order to preserve this blessed land, the goddess of Kavir sacrifices her immortal body, binding the Doom's Dragon within divine seal. Stay confined thusly, Doom's Dragon. Let the human spirit suppress your lust for destruction. But it will not yield, and the celestial bindings would not hold forever. The day Doom's Dragon returns, the hour life perishes. Brave heroes, you have heeded the call. Do not be afraid, for the fate of Kavir is in your hands. Step forth and save the world. Welcome to Graham Games. My name is Graham. This is a game. Today I'm playing Kavir Rebirth, a relatively recent roguelike deck building game. I don't know how deck building it is, but it's definitely card based. And through that, you can't not compare it to Slay the Spire, but based on the tutorial, it does make an effort to stand out. I was introduced to the game through the Archer with the tutorial, so I'll probably stick with that. A young newspaper reporter. <laughs> I, d I don't really understand, like, how that would come about. How you are a newspaper reporter, and then when this all comes about, you decide to just pick up a bow and arrow and, and start taking part in things? Do I need to start hitting the archery range? Practicing, like, carving the, the fletching of arrows, anything like that? This is new to me. This part I have no idea. <laughs> Explore the dungeon, uncover the tiles to locate the way down to delve deeper. Aside from the portal, each dungeon tile may hide monsters, treasure, events, shops, etc. These may be beneficial or detrimental. You have equipment with abilities. Helmet determines the max number of skills you can prepare. Gloves determine how many cards you draw to fill your hand. Boots determine how many action points you have at the start of each turn. Armor determines how many armor points you have at the beginning of combat. And so right now I'm guessing old boots, hunter's coat, worn hunter's hood, everything is about as, as basic and simple as it could be. I think that's cool that you have like a Diablo style bit of loot. The surface of the wishing pool was glittering with light, above which a shadow flashed by. You took a closer look, but only to find the gold coins shining on the bottom. I don't need to restore any health, unless you can, like, you know, the Grinch, inflate your heart <laughs> three sizes. I would like a super heart, please, capable of storing much more blood. That's what I truly want. Max health seems good. Get coins. Aim, shoot the shadow on the water. I don't think I want to do that. I was curious if I could do that numerous times. The wishing pool dried out. You heard the sound of a switch being triggered and the water dried out. Was it the frog? That frog's robbing me from the ability to juice up my heart as much as possible. It just filled itself back in. It's just not at all how I would have expected a, a dungeon to work. I'd, I would, Minecraft would be a lot different if as you mined your way through the game filled itself back in. Maybe I don't need to be as slow and precise. It seems like the game will stop me if anything comes up. The shield bandit, he seems like he's having a good time. He's got a cool little bird tattoo. <laughs> I don't know, this guy seems like, uh, uh, yeah, he does have a positive effect. He has a positive effect on my attitude and on those around him. So you can see you have two different decks to draw from. There's like offense and defense. 
and you have skills and I'm quite and you have to worry about arrow management and action point management there's quite a bit going on I would not have been introduced to any of the skills so I kind of need to learn those enhance the first three arrows into fire arrows it deals extra fixed damage it does not cost an arrow to do so but it does cost an action point behind the shelter gain six armor it costs an action point shoot two arrow deal no damage gain six stacks of cover it costs an action point and it costs two arrows managing the arrow inventory is so interesting in this game i actually do enjoy that quite a lot i'm gonna make my next guys fire arrows so i can load that up you have intent the way you would with slay the spire so we can see that he is uh, about to give himself a buff and so I'm not concerned about covering on that first turn. Now he's defensive, reduce incoming damage by the current block. So right now he would be able to block a full three. And I don't know if the fire arrow <laughs> worked the way I hoped or thought it would. Yeah, see, I didn't actually... Uh, I, I thought I would catch him on fire or something. That's what I was hoping for. Instead... I, I think I wasted those, because now would be the time to use it, now that he's covering. Gain one aim? I don't really know what aim does. The current arrow deals double damage. See, that's kind of what I needed. I'm going to redraw, because you have to choose when to redraw in this game. Hold tight is not what I want. Shoot! So this should do double damage. It should do, what are we calling it here? Fixed damage. Not affected by effects that is if that counts as an effect oh dang it <laughs> okay now now i probably have to like hold tight which i don't know what it does gain a stack of empowered shot no he's going to attack so i am going to take cover and just try to to hide a little bit since he's about to come raining down on me i'm concussed i deal less damage He's also no longer protecting himself. I will hold tight. It adds an extra to my to my arrow there. And I drew one shoot. Just needed one. Made it away with full health. There you go. That's the combat of Kavir. I gained experience. I got a bit of gold. And a new armor. A chainmail. I assume that'll be worth equipping as soon as I find out how. How? Chainmail, armor 5, armor 1. That's, that's a pretty obvious, obvious trade. I love loot, like in any game, in basically any context. So I gotta say, I'm, I'm being won over by this game by that alone. It's just a little thing, but I just love loot. A spear bandit. Now this guy seems a little crazier. He's got the double shoulder pads, didn't put the effort into tidying up his helmet, his wild hair is sticking out all over. Makes me wonder what what he's up to, you know? I'm gonna double cover to just try and protect myself. And, you know, I'll shoot one shot while he's leaving himself exposed. I have four stacked cover. He should deal zero damage. I'm set. That was the armor. I think that was more the armor that did that than anything else. I should have, should have realized I already had that. Well, I'm going to take cover once again. Reduce the attack damage by the stack on the buff. And it's two stack. Yes, so he should do one damage. My armor will protect three. That will protect two. Not anything else I can do about it. So I'm just going to start raining down arrows. I thought about using like a fire arrow or something. I kind of think I might be able to take this guy down without it. I like that little sexy goblin that hangs out on that when it drops down. Ooh la la. Oh no. I meant to redraw. I wish that those weren't next to each other like that. I'm sure I'll get used to it. That was a stupid mistake to make and I'm not very excited about it. See, it's not really worth using the scatter shot if there's only the one guy 
to scatter those shots at. So instead I'll just hold tight. Picking up arrows, I can't I can't pick up more arrows than there are. God, really wasted. Wasted that turn there. I feel like I've screwed myself a fair amount. Ah, redraw does get rid of the thing things you're holding. She so you better know that you don't want to use any of those. I'm gaining a name. Deal double damage. There together with those fire arrows. <laughs> That's how it's done, son. D20 defend dice. Gain four armor. The gained armor may be halved or doubled. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. It's just like a, a, a gamble whether or not you get get either. Am I like are those automatically a part of my deck? I don't really know how to add or subtract certain things. I can move them around. I have main hand cards, off hand cards. These are all th these are just extras. I could continue adding. Okay, I have a bunch of extra stuff. A utility, so it could go in either. I will stick it in the off hand. That's, I like that actually a lot, that you can manage the two decks separately like that, which makes sense, but that there's certain things that could be either <laughs> drunk bandit. I mean, don't get me wrong, the other bandits were drunk. This guy's just that much more drunk. <laughs> I think the three little, like, canaries on him is supposed to be a recreation of, like, the cartoon Looney Tunes effect of three little yellow birds flying around you. I mean, the stun is also doing that, but there, he's so drooly. <laughs> <laughs> if he's skipping a turn, then I see no reason not to just load up some some shots here. I think I might as well just go with three straight shots. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would like different cards here, but I'm going to have to draw that anyways ten times. Yes, I will just I'll apply some take covers and then I'll worry about a redraw and we'll see where we're at after that. I would still take one damage here and I'm not overly concerned about one damage. Current arrow. If I use aim now and end my turn, please tell me that like stays. That stays loaded up as a, as a bonus damage. And I won't lose that. Doesn't seem like it. I'll apply some fire. And... Dang. I could have <laughs> could have done the math on that and realized that wasn't going to do the trick. But I got eager. I just wanted to, want to go all out there. And whatever. Scatter shot. It doesn't matter. Anything will put him down at this point. Put him down to sleep. Sleepy, sleepy little pirate. He's had a couple too many rums and needs of rest. Okay. <laughs> now we're talking. Level up, that'll be cool, I'm sure. Sap, deal two damage, apply a concussed for two turns. Helmet, skill capacity four. If you start combat with full health, gain one stack of strength, which increases damage. Oh my god, oh, it's part of a set. Oh, set items, that's so cool. Okay, so I don't even have to worry about the rest of it. The next thing I could do, uh, if I get the gloves, the vest, or the boots, if you redraw with more than 50% health, gain one action point. More than 50%, that's, that's like so achievable, you know? <laughs> Healing, that's lame. Target the head, shoot one arrow, deal weapon damage. If the enemy loses health, gain one aim. What? Is this like a relic? Would that always be the case? Oh, oh, it's a skill. It's a skill. It would cost an action point and an arrow. The Hunter Instinct. Gain one stack. Apply one stack of bleed at every attack during Hunter Instinct. It does not cost arrows. Costs one action point and you need to use an aim. Here you need to use a shoot. Gotcha. And kidnap, steal up to 10 armor from the enemy. The, um, yeah, that would be so cool. If I fought something that was stacking a lot of armor, that seems really cool. 
it's such a dramatic flip for you to gain that instead. I like it. I'm taking, I'm taking that instead. Oh, the heart of the forest, it's nothing special. Just the entire whole heart, one of the key organs of the entire forest. But you know what it's, it's not that important. <laughs> Skills, I should have room for one more because I have that new helmet, so that's kind of perfect. A shop, ooh, I got 69 gold. You can tell this guy's a fan of that too. Yeah. <laughs> Thief's blindfold, which would be a helmet, so I probably don't want to. At the end of each combat, loot five extra coins. It's fun, I like it, but uh, I, I just got a helmet. Wolf coat, at the start of each combat, apply concussed to all enemies for one turn. That's pretty sweet, but only one armor. Zero armor, at the end of each combat, loot extra coins. What is it for having all four? After each combat, if there is a utility card in the loot, get an, get a copy. The same card. This is on sale. A endless quiver. Quiver size 5. At the end of each turn, quiver is refilled to full. I was going to say, it's notably less than my current quiver. Far from endless. Cloak of life. At the end of each combat, restore 5 health. That is pretty cool. Zero armor, but you know. That's pretty huge. Boots of the Sea. So if you redraw with more than 50% health, gain one action point. And it itself, uh, action point recovery three. If you start combat with full health, gain one stack of dodge. Right now I'm not at full health. So I'm not actually getting anything out of the crown that I have. The quiver is cool. But I, I would, I really like the idea of building up towards the set so I'm gonna make that trade because that's that's just neat it's just satisfying to think that I already have two pieces on the set here it lights it up you know you have that okay that's huge I think it seems it's like it would be a big deal we'll just keep rooting around Ooh, chest reward chest of course I'm gonna open it I'm never not gonna open it okay <laughs> This good thing I didn't buy it, and I, I I suppose I just get to keep it. I I can maybe sell things at some point. Maybe there's another shopkeeper who's open. Wow, they're really frothing at the mouth here. Oh, okay. This could be perfect. It could work out great, or not at all. You know, I should check this. Gain armor? No, no. What I really want is fire arrows. And I really wanted a scatter shot. I am going to aim. No. Yes? No. Because <laughs> I need to increase my odds. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect it because you redraw everything regardless. So I was basically always going to draw what I needed here. Shoot one arrow, deal weapon damage to all enemies. Oh, weapon damage. But that's being... Oh, I wasted my... I never used aim. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Basically, I'm just going for it. I think with the fire arrow, yes, that added the extra damage that I needed. I was overthinking that. That worked out how I wanted. But I took a few extra steps to get there. Amulet of Luck. Draw three cards in the corresponding hand. That was a, a card? If I play it, I just draw cards? Oh, sap. That was the other one I found. Draw three cards in the corresponding hand. That seems silly to me. Because you, you only get one redraw per turn, though. But, you know, this is just taking up a card slot. And it takes an action point. I don't like it. Deal two damage and apply a concussed. Yes. I will put that in place. I do like that because it can be used offensively and defensively. This looks like a boss or like an elite or something. Bandit head. This guy, you know, he's only a bandit body. This guy's embraced it in his brain, in his mind. <laughs> he's a bandit through and through. He's got crazy eyes. Like the regular painted on eyes, this guy's got bulging wild person's eyes. They're both buffing. So I'm going to do what I kind of screwed up doing last time. It spends a shot. I will apply an aim. 
Oh, you can scan a shot after that. Or can I? Because I have more than 50% health. What is in my draw pile? I'm risking this. I'm risking a redraw and hoping I draw a scatter shot. Because I have the two different boots of the boots and the crown of the sea, I gained an action point, so now I can use my scatter shot with a fire arrow with an aim applied. Bam! That's like as awesome of a move as I wanted it to be. I'll hang on to that until I find out which one of them is more likely to do the most damage, or maybe I could oh, use it in combination. Damn. Okay. They both have armor applied at this point. I don't understand if defensive stance is separate from the armor. Reduces incoming damage by your current block. Is that his current block? Like, I, I, I'm, I feel like I'm misreading that one and misunderstanding. But I'm going to concuss him. So that's, that's it, decreased damage, right? Hopefully that worked out how I wanted it to. Hold tight. I will take now the empowered shot. I'll take cover once. I will... I could have used defend. I'll be fine between armor and all that. I'll hold tight and I'll shoot this guy. <laughs> there. Oh, I ended up with uh, an extra step. Well, then I'll take cover one more time. Just to have, might as well protect myself a little more fully. Who is the best? He's just hyping, hyping his buddy up. You guys collectively, I assume, view yourselves or each other as the best. I do like this. It'll either be two, four, or eight. Or it'll only either be two or eight. Okay, I think that was four. <laughs> so it can, there is a chance to not have or double. I have full arrows, so I might as well redraw. Extra action points, so yeah, that was definitely worth applying. Oh, ooh, I, uh, I probably could have stole, no, I can still do it. Steal up to 10 armor from an enemy, then uh, don't mind if I do. That's mine now. I think I I think I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I like to have it. I think I want it more than you. So yeah, mine. Sure. Fire arrow. Bam. Devastating. <laughs> I've mastered all the strategies of Kavir already. That guy went buck wild there. That was so <laughs> intense. I was uh, apparently wholly not prepared for that. But, you know, it wasn't such a big deal in the end. <laughs> oh, not quite another level up, but we got the, oh, oh, like Christopher Walken. Heavy Quiver, 10. It has blunt arrows that also apply negative one stack of strength. Okay. And it applies two stacks of concussed? Is that what I'm understanding? Wow, Okay. Uh, I th think that's amazing. <laughs> I think it's really good. And Plague Bomb. That just sounds like it'll be wildly useful. OH. Offhand. That would be offhand? Yeah, I guess that would be it. Main hand, offhand, which is the same as like the decks themselves. Cool. I'm looking forward to using the new quiver. That seems really effective. I'm excited about it. And poison is utility, which I wasn't really expecting. I'm going to stick that down here. And I'm going to take out at least one cover, at least one pick arrow. Because they're probably, I'm probably getting too many. The fact that you have complete freedom over your deck is really cool, rather than having to like pay money to add and remove things. The training ground. <laughs> this bird's just freaking out. Quit shooting at my home, guys. Leave it alone. A desolate training ground. You only saw some birds hovering above, not know where they came from. English is a tad broken. Max health plus five. Learn a skill, but lose health. Get a utility card, but lose health. Or aim and shoot at the bullseye. I'm guessing more of like an event will take place if I do that. So why not? 10 out of 10. 
You are skillful in battle as always. Skill improved. Get a skill. Max health plus three. Poison arrow. That See, that was just a new skill. I thought maybe I would enhance a skill I already had based on that wording. Enhance the first three arrows with poison. And, it, you know, it stacks poison. It's good stuff. I would just have to decide if I want that instead of fire, in addition to fire. Sheltering is good. Shoot two arrows, deal no damage, gain. I see Overwatch. I could see how it could be useful. I'm, I'm sticking with the poison arrow. I just like the feel of that. Seems like it fits the way I more commonly like to play this sort of game. I figured why the heck, why the heck not clear the full level take that extra bit of time <laughs> okay this uh an individual run of this game might be a little bit more uh complex than i was expecting <laughs> i'm on like the second of like what was that like seven different steps that i'm gonna have to walk through i better start exploring a little more quickly Ooh, okay we're going straight to a more difficult one <laughs> the craziness of the the regular wolf already got me but now you turn that into a werewolf I just love the look that these both of them give actually. It's it's generally a pretty fun art style, but I the, the enemy design in particular has really stood out to me so far. So he's getting ready for some opening attacks. I would love to do something about that, you know? I could I could engage a take cover and gain six armor. Yeah yeah yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna gain some excess armor up top there is it removing the card that i i, I spend you know because otherwise why would i ever use a take cover by itself it's in my discard pile so i don't really understand what the negative what the drawback is of just using this instead of take cover maybe that's i maybe that's just supposed to be something i figure out on my own <laughs> and realize that it's not worth doing it any other way. I think it's gonna be worthwhile to try and actually apply some poison. So I am gonna get that started. Oh, I should try and scatter shot some poison. That's gonna be awesome. I'll also be curious to see how the poison lingers or if it does, every time a terror wolf dies in combat, gain one stack of strength. Ooh, so it's definitely worth it to kill the werewolf first but he's getting ready to cast a special skill 12 damage i only have three armor right now so i definitely am gonna want to do that again using my skill to protect myself as much as i can my arrows are already poisoned i only have the two action points yeah i'm, I'm gonna try and poison both of them and i just i think that's a wise move. It applies before they attack, which is always good to know. That's not good. And those count as terror wolves. Even though he's an alpha, these still count, I think. They would still raise his strength. So absolutely, I need to focus fire like crazy now. That extra action point, that's huge. I'm doing the D20. I only got four off that one, but it's not the worst, not the worst. I guess I hold tight to get an extra stack. Try to also apply the poison. I, I Can it be fire and poison? Oh, it's replaced. I think it totally replaces it. And did I overwrite? No, 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 I'm stacking that. I'm stacking the overpowered shot, which is good for me, because <laughs> I need that. Keep just piling on the armor that way. I'm going to take some pretty serious damage here. Oh, God. The alpha is jacking up everything's strength. I wish that I had done the poison scatter shot one turn later. But there was really no way for me to know, was there? Use that first because I, I just need it. I just straight up do need it. I could fire arrow everything right now, which is pretty great. And I think I just kind of have to. That was sweet. I have to finish this guy off. So I'm taking my one shot. 
I can concuss him. Significant reduction in damage. And that's what's going to get me through this. Okay. I took a pretty serious amount of damage here. But now all of a sudden, this one-on-one, -on -one, it's not even really that big of a deal. I should be fine. I'll get through it, you know? Deal weapon damage four to all enemies. Damage five. Why is that? Where's that one extra coming from? So that's my four damage. Why is it damage dealt five? I guess I'm better off ensuring I live here. <laughs> There's a temptation to just go for it. Uh, I think I need to just... Does that stack? Did I double damage that arrow twice? I thought maybe it would apply to the first arrow, then the second arrow. No, I think I'm going to have one insanely overpowered arrow all of a sudden. And I love it. Wasn't that crazy? <laughs> oh, but it did. See, now I think it is applying to the first. The f it, it didn't stack. It applied to two separate arrows. Next level up. A helmet, a circlet of life. At the end of each combat, restore full health. I guess I had seen the cloak already. Whoa, when you have all three, you gain max health at the end of combat. An artificial body part. Main hand, draw main hand cards to full number. Off hand, draw to full number. Which is apparently eight. I don't think I'm going to bother. Jagged arrow. It applies bleed. Target the head. I should reread this. Deal weapon damage. If the enemy loses health, gain one aim. That seems useful. <laughs> you know, and if it just costs an action point, an arrow, and a shoot, you know, it's costing the same amount. Like, the skills are where it's at. That's, like, hugely important. Gain one permanent stack of arrow refill. That's useful, I guess, if you're really blasting through your arrows. I don't think I need to worry about it that much. Gaining aim just by using shoot seems really useful. It was either that or heal. <laughs> I might come, may come to regret that, but it seemed g good to have. The poison is cool. I liked it. I liked trying it out. But I'm going to put my focus more in just dealing damage, and the fire is actually better for that. A rogue knight, oh, is a cool guy. Got that little stock of hay in there. He's showing off how easily he can hold that sword. It's probably like 100 pounds. No sweat, man. Power fist that all day. <laughs> it's the decorative arrow through the helmet. Either that, or it's just showing that he's, you know, seen some shit. He's been through it. Blunt arrow, also apply minus one stack of strength to the to the target. If they have strength, it removes strength. But does it put them into a negative strength? Is that a thing? That's the, the question I'm wondering right now. I'm going to empower an arrow. I'm going to use this for... Uh, I, oh, it didn't deal damage, though. See, he has too much armor, so it didn't technically deal damage. So I didn't get out of that quite what I wanted. That's too bad. Oh, I, I should have started this by just stealing his armor. That was a bit of a mistake. But now I could use this. And now I gain one aim. So on the next turn, or at least the next time I attack, the, the armor steal is so strong. And whittling away his armor was such a waste of time. Good to know. Lesson learned. I'm gonna plague bomb him. Give him some poison to worry about. How do you? What, what do you think of that, guy? But you didn't see that <laughs> coming. Cover. Okay, cover is passive. It's like passive armor, right? That's got. That's got to be how I'm meant to interpret that. So right now he would technically have eight armor, but only four of it is like gonna stay. I will redraw. I'll consider stealing all his armor. <laughs> There's almost no reason not to. So I shall. As far as I can tell, there's no reason not to. I'm gonna juice my arrows with fire. I will have an aim applied here, and I should gain another aim. 
So I'm st I'm trying to like keep that rolling in that sense, and I think that's a good use. Mm. Yeah, using the aim there is fine now too because I know my next two arrows are like that little bit extra juiced. I don't think it's worth using the scatter shots at that stage. I could concuss him, make him notably weaker, and now he really like can't punch through anything I got going on. My attacks are, are continually juiced between fire and aim and empowered. Uh, that was huge. And he's poisoned. So I'm going to end turn and he'll, he'll drop. I think I got the hang of this game really quickly. And I don't know if that's the game teaching it well or if I'm a great student. <laughs> damage. Uh, deal 10 fixed damage to all enemies. Gain one stack of silence. Can't use skills. So it would be like a huge all out try to finish things off. Big time move. I'm probably not going to worry about that just yet. Four adventurers are brawling for the title of the strongest warrior. As the fighting remain deadlocked, they feel like having a savior upon your arrival. Which one of us do you think is the strongest warrior? They ask you in... <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure they. there's more to the statement than that, but we got to the, the heart of it. I could heal, oh max health, not even a heal, a piece of equipment, money, or a utility card. I think I want the equipment, honestly. Skill capacity 3, start the combat with 2 armor. I think that is not worth it, because I have a sweet set item, and it has 4 armor slots. So yeah, it's just really, really not worth it for me. I have two shoots, so I think it makes sense to gear up here a little bit. I don't think I want to hold tight just yet. There's no reason not to take cover since the armor is like permanent, so I think I might as well just do that on this turn here. That concussed. That's a frustrating one actually. You get Plague Bomb for that. That's that's what I say to you. <laughs> I think you deserve it. Ooh, I could redraw and gain an action point. So that's what I'll do. And then I'll just start blasting together as much big shots as I can. Oh, it would have been so awesome to just pull all those skills and things together and just wreck this thing. I could maybe re do a redraw here because I want a, sc a scatter shot specifically. That arrow is is loaded up. Oh, I wish that I that would have enough damage in it to take them all out. But you know, I got I got moves. I got moves left. Another level up already. New gloves, which I don't think I think I'm on my original ones. Extra draw size. Every time you play five cards, gain a stack of strength. I don't know what my draw size was. Discard one offhand card, draw two main hand cards. Discard all your main hand cards, gain one stack of cover. Or Hunter Instinct, apply one stack of bleed at every attack during Hunter Instinct. I think I'm just going to heal. <laughs> I don't know if I was that excited by any of those options. Because that felt like the right way to go. Lowers my draw size. I don't know if I actually... I'll try it. I guess I'll try it. But I don't think I'm a big fan of it. I don't think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up liking that. Daylight makes me dazzling. It doesn't make a lot of sense of your... of, of what you're saying. That's... One thing it doesn't do, bad luck. Oh, it costs more to predict each time. A lighter. At the end of enemy turn, enhance the first arrow into a fire arrow. Damage four. There is no reason not to use that. <laughs> I'm going to predict a couple more times. Because I want to see what else it can give. I, I, a full heal? Sure. 
<laughs> I dig it. I'm 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 into it. Load me up with fire arrows. Makes me wonder if I should switch to the poison arrow instead, but I don't think you can stack poison and fire, so in that way it doesn't matter too much. You can have I'll read your story first. They stopped you with his arm, a bowl in hand. Perhaps he just started to get impatient for being refused repetitively. You can have five coins. That's where I'm leaving it. Although your five coins earned nothing but the contempt of the beggar, your kind deed is still praised by the god. So there's that. <laughs> as long as one person's happy, open the chest. Cool. This is the thing. I, I think I have two of these now. Ten fixed damage to all enemies. I'm sticking that in my deck. I guess I might as well. It's not like I have to use it. Hmm. The plague bomb is cool. I guess. I guess I like it. I think I'm pulling it out though. I don't think I want more than 12 in that hand. It seems like it would get out of hand quite easily. Brand new ones every day. A monkey potion. Gain a stack of dodge and poison. Leopard potion. Gain two stacks of swiftness and poison. Next skill costs no action point. That's pretty cool. Endless life potion. Exhausted. Instead of being put in your discard pile, it's removed for the rest of that battle. Restore five health. Oh, so you could just heal yourself. It's got a, like the little bendy straw that goes into the potion bottle. Goblin Shield Breaker. Remove all armor of the enemy. I have my armor stealer that I would use instead. The Goblin Filter. Discard one card in the corresponding hand. Exhausted. Recover action points equal to the cost of the, of the discarded card. And Hedgehog Potion. Gain two stacks of Reflect and one stack of Poison. The healing one is the only one that actually seems worth it. Uh, and I'll decide, I guess, whether I actually want to stick that in my deck. I'll, I'll do it. I'm pushing the upper limit of the amount of cards I want in there, but I'll, I'll, I'll try it out, you know? See what I can do. It's a spooky mask he's wearing. I assume the bottom half of his face isn't just blown off, but maybe that is what's going on there. I think I better take cover, hold tight. I will... Hmm, I won't be able to actually use a skill and a shot in the same turn. So I, I, like, I can use that, but I can't use the aim the same turn. So I will take cover. Yes. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Seems like an effective uh, hunkering down, generally. Did I just dodge? Okay. Swiftness is applied. That's the action point thing. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right then. <laughs> I feel like a lot of things just kind of worked out in my favor. There's where the limited drawing... I don't think I like that glove very much. The, the adding the strength is cool. Because that means uh, if I play two things, even just two, I'll play this, see how much armor I get out of it. Uh, does this count as playing a card? It doesn't. That's interesting, actually. So if I play that, I gain strength. That's great. Earlier, when I looked at this, or whichever card it was, Deal weapon damage to all enemies, damage six, and I was confused where six was coming from. I must have had one strength. That makes sense. That's simple. I was, I was overthinking for sure. Uh, I guess I scatter shot him. The fact that skills don't count and the just the limited drawing, I think I there's I don't want those gloves. Basically, just no no need. For me to hang on to those. I'm not a, I'm not a big big fan of it. There we go. Yeah, the skills are too important. Nothing. No loot, hey? I it was starting to make it seem like that couldn't happen. I I like clear on the floor. I'm gonna go with the last few stops. I can go back to those places. So that's kinda neat. Uh, anything else like automatically is engaged with. <sighs> okay. I guess. I see what this is all about. 
bloodline of the wolf. That's the that's the terror wolf thing. Terror wolf king and queen. Both of them really have like a hey, like a like a real flirty look about them, don't you think? Is that just me? Am I the only one who sees that? Hmm. I could. I don't think I want to silence myself. I think that is a good starting move. I could cover. I, 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 don't even, I don't even think I used that last combat, even though I probably could have or should have. I'm going to apply a couple things here to just try and have my, I don't know, weapons as, as juiced up as I can get them. Oh, boy. I wasted no time bringing all those in, hey? All right, let's empower the shot. I think I should also, yeah, there's no harm. There's no harm taking cover while I have the take cover available in my hand there. Redraw, hopefully a scatter shot. Money, <laughs> it's good to have. With What all do I have combined at this point? Because I have the aim, deals double damage. It's a fire arrow. So it has that plus three damage. The plus three probably doesn't get doubled. So I think it's five times two plus three. Oh God, it'll kill every wolf. And that'll juice all their strength up by three. That's such an immediate terrifying consequence of that. But if I, if I just commit and try to just apply as much damage to them as I can to not let that become too devastating. The, oh, they're, God, they're raising their own strength now, too. The one thing I also... I They don't have armor to steal. I can't steal armor from this enemy type. And so that gives me, like, nowhere to hide. <laughs> that doesn't quite do it. I... I'm going to apply few things there. There's a temptation to attack the enemy that is attacking you, but I need to, I need to try and focus fire as much as I can. Oh, don't you do it. Oh, I thought he was summoning more of them again. Okay. Take cover while I have it. I'm regenerating enough arrows that that hasn't become a concern, which is good. I'd rather not have to think about that. I could scatter shot this. There would be, I currently have an aim applied. Yes, I might as well. Might as well try and do damage to both of them as like as much as I can. I would be guaranteed to take some damage if I didn't cover. And I think I'm gonna try to not worry about it too much. Oh. I was concussed. That's why that scatter shot was so lame. Maybe that was a mistake then. Maybe I sh maybe I should have milked that. In this case, in this particular case, I'm still concussed. I don't think the scatter shot would kill all of them. My focus is going to be on protecting myself. But maybe I just do it anyways. <laughs> Okay, that's at least something. It, like the fact that they are hurt enough that when the time comes that I do need to kill them all. Oh no, now their strength is all getting raised. Oh no, I have to kill everything. Everything in this round. I'm not going to gain my extra action point. So I think I need to just redraw now. Okay. Scatter shot. <laughs> that was so necessary. Their strength is so high. They can still one shot me. I can concuss them. Ooh, that'll save me. That alone will save me. And I can hunker down. That's nuts. That came down is so little. Or is coming down to. I guess I'm not necessarily out of the weeds yet. Although I think I'm kinda I think I'm kinda through it at this point. I'm good. 
I'm fine. I thought about dragging the battle out so I could drink that potion. Maybe it would have been worth it. A sin Sinperbo, I'm guessing it's meant to be a sniper. Seven damage. At the start of each turn, you gain X stacks of empowered shot. If you have X main hand cards, every time... Oh, so, so, okay. The number of cards that I just have in my hand. Wow. I could take, like, all of the empowered shot cards out of my deck because I wouldn't need them anymore. It's a part of a Slayer set, which apparently is a seven-part set. Holy crap. Uh, every time you shoot arrows when you aim, gain two stacks of cover. Every time you gain one stack of aim, you also gain strength. Every time you gain a stack of cover, you also gain empowered shot. So that just builds in like the craziest way. The Fairy of Life. A little fairy flapping its furry wings as a gift for defeating the monsters. It will heal all your wounds. Or I could get gold. I'm going to take the full heal. <laughs> that seems like the logical way to go. Confirm. Take me to the next level. It took about 50 minutes to get to that point. Does that mean a full run of this game can take like two or three hours? That's a little lengthy. Like it's, It seems overly long. But in general, I don't know what those are. I don't know what the, the orange gems are, honestly. <laughs> but in general, I think the game is really cool. I like the two deck management. I like that you have full control over your deck at any time. I like that there's things like arrow management, even though that never really came up. The regular action economy, that's fine. But then start tying in the skills, the fact that there's actual loot, which I only really feel like I scratched the surface of. I never even found an amulet. I'm using a basic glove. Already I'm, I'm seeing things I would replace. Uh, you have these attributes. To worry about your leveling up along the way. Yeah, I think this game might be really, really cool. I think an individual run length might be overly long. So let me just quickly confirm a very important thing in a game like this. You can walk away and you can continue. And that is huge. That, that makes all the difference. The game is in early access now, so you can pick up a copy for yourself. But it seems to be a relatively feature-complete game. I'm sure it's just about balancing. There's the archer and the paladin, so probably they'll add in other classes and things. I really dig the art style. I think it's cool. I think I had a very positive experience with this game. I would recommend. <laughs> Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.